Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I brought another set review for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at set 75295 Millennium Falcon Microfighter. This set has 101 pieces in one minifigure. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. So alright, I guess we can cut into it now. Slice along here. It's just a good always says, never cut towards yourself, always cut away from yourself. So do as I say, not as I do. This should be open now. So, let's dump out all the pieces. We got two bags and an instruction booklet. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the build. Hey, if you like my content and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. It's quick and it helps out a lot. So here's the set all built up. First we'll take a look at the minifigure. So here's the minifigure of the set, which is Han Solo. This is the same version that comes in the 2016 UCS Death Scar, the 2020 UCS uh, Moss Eisley Cantina, and the 2018 Moss Eisley Cantina. So overall this is the cheapest way to get him, aside from maybe Bricklink. But yeah, so you can see here he's got some nice torso detailing, although I will say that his little neck chest bit up there is a bit pale but that tends to happen when you use uh, lighter color printing on darker pieces other than that he's got some nice uh, legs and hips and uh, back torso detailing and I believe this is my first time getting this hair piece which is pretty nice but he has this smirk on one side and a more upset expression on the other side and then he just comes with his standard short blaster so uh, yeah that's it for the minifigure now let's get into the build so here's the build of the set, and I just want to say I think this design is absolutely gorgeous. I really like the stud shooters up top. Um, I, if you don't know how those work, you just press down on that button there and it goes flying. Let's, let's try that again. Yeah, you saw there. So uh, yeah, and I can honestly say I like these versions of the stud shooters better than the 2022 versions. I just feel like these are easier to play with and they look a bit nicer. But other than that, there's some nice greebling details on the side and some black dots up top to represent some of the, um, I guess, more details of the ship. And then around the back, there's these three nice boosters and uh, yeah, there's space for him to sit or you can just take him and stick him right there and he fits pretty well. And then there's this printed dome piece which has a sort of cockpit windshield design as well as another windshield right up here and some of my favorite details about the set are the nice but unnecessary inclusion of some dark red bricks to add more detailing so you can see some right in there as well as if you move the thrusters out of the way like there's just a bit of dark red back there which is it's not necessary but it's really nice to see because it adds to the overall aesthetic of the ship as well as if you remove this piece here, there's some more dark red. So I really like what they did there. But uh, yeah, that's that's about ish, it for this set. It, it, there's also a little radar dish up here. But that's about it for the build. Now uh, let's take a look at the packaging and instructions. Here's the box of the set. You can see some nice uh, de background detail there, as well as some TIE fighters down in the corner. Again, this set is the Millennium Falcon Microfighter at 75295 for ages 6 and up, has 101 pieces, and is part of the Series 8 line of Microfighters. Um, some nice greebling details on the bottom. Another look at the figure up there. And then some nice, uh, some nice uh, artwork on the back of the box that shows the play features with the stud shooters as well as the other Microfighter sets from that wave. So uh, that's it for the box, but now we'll take a look at the instructions. Here's the instructions, which is just the standard small size uh, Lego instructions. There are a total of 29 steps in this, and then there's a shot of the model all complete, 
as well as some advertisements for the other sets that released in that wave as well as one of my favorite little details um this actually has luke up here in the imperial star in the, in the imperial shuttle my bad the imperial shuttle set with a light blue lightsaber whereas in the real set he has his green lightsaber, which is more accurate to the film. So I, I just find it interesting how they how they had this one originally and then they changed it for the release. But other than that, it just takes a look at some of the other figures from the other sets from that wave and it advertises the Lego Star, Lego Star Wars Skywalker saga. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that game, but that's about it for the instructions. So overall, I think this set is fantastic. I really love the build. The figure is great and if you've seen my my top 10 ten dollar sets of 2021 list video then you'll know that this placed number four overall which i think is a pretty good ranking so yeah if it's still on shelves i'd say definitely pick this one up but other than that that's going to be it for me in this video guys so as always thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed and always consider subscribing it helps out the channel a lot but with that i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye